today we are going to make a seafood boil sauce and I have eaten a ton of seafood boils and I've made a ton of seafood boils many, many different ways. And so this recipe is basically a combination of the things that I like about each sauce put into one. I tried to reduce as many seasonings as possible, but these are the ones that I have to have. And for those of you guys who cannot find Old Bay seasoning, you can use Tony seasoning. And it's basically the same thing. This one is just a little bit spicier. You can add both if you like. And I try to look for things with no MSG because I get massive headaches and side effects if I eat large amounts. I can eat some, but in large amounts, it's just not good. Okay, so I've got oregano, garlic powder, lemon pepper. This is my all-time favorite one, and it's from Johnny's. Paprika. Of course, your Old Bay. I like to use a chili oil in my sauce and reduce the butter. So a fried chili paste or the chili crisp oil will work or you can make a homemade chili oil and use that too so for b love sauce she uses coca-cola and i actually like the taste of coca-cola over straight sugar it just has a subtle taste to it and it's not like a candy sweet if you don't want soda i highly recommend using something like a rock sugar and this is what i use to make a lot of my soup broth it's not like a candy sweet even though it says rock candy. It's actually sugar cane. So it's just clusters of sugar cane. And yeah, you just drop one piece in it. If you want it less sweet, just get a small piece. So I like to use pure sugar cane instead of sugar. So one of the main reasons why I do use Coca-Cola is for the color and it gives the sauce a nice, pretty deep color. So this is basically for video purposes. No video, I'll use I like to use vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth or whatever broth, even water if you like, but vegetable broth is my go-to. These are sweet onions and pickled ginger is also delicious in this sauce. And from B Loves, I got her pickled ginger, which is delicious in the seafood boil sauces and garlic. I usually use fresh garlic, but um, because of her, I start to use this in only my seafood boils. I don't like to use this in any of my cooking, just the boil sauce. Of course, you cannot forget our butter. And I only use a stick or maybe even half a stick. I use unsalted. I like to use Kerrygold's unsalted butter, but I don't have any. And of course, lemon. I don't add lemon into the sauce because I freeze half of the batch. I like to add on top of my seafood with each bite. Um, I feel like if you add the lemon in the sauce, it sort of loses its fresh citrus flavor. I don't know if that makes sense, but you can add lemon in the sauce if you want, but this is how I like it. Okay, so I'm going to slice up these onions and put them in the pot and I'll be right back. Onions are sliced up, so let's start cooking. I'm going to use just half a stick of butter first. So we're going to cook down the onions for a little bit so they get all soft and wilty. And then we'll add in our garlic. Chop up some of the ginger. I don't use the juice since um, I think it makes it overly sweet. It. I'm gonna start adding everything into the pot now. Garlic 
and I have about a cup of this. Okay, and I have about a fourth cup, maybe a little under a fourth a cup of Old Bay, a tablespoon of lemon pepper, two tablespoons of paprika. Now, if you want it spicy, just do one tablespoon paprika and one cayenne. Give this a mix. One tablespoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of oregano, and then our soda. Again, if you don't want to use the Coke, you can use um, the rock sugar and add some water. I'm going to add in the ginger. I'm going to give it a good mix and bring this up to boil. All right, so it's starting to simmer. We're going to add our broth in. Oops, I should have measured this. Okay, so one cup, two cup, four. I like to use both the chili paste and the garlic crisps. I do a spoon of each. So in this one, there's like beans. You see the like the little, you see the little brown bit right there? That's like a, it's a soybean. So I try to avoid those when I put on this end. If you like a stronger buttery flavor, you can just go ahead and add the last half of butter. So I like to cool this down and save half of the batch in the freezer. When I want to use it out of the freezer, I just thaw it and throw it in a saucepan and warm it up. Super easy. It's a little bit salty, so I'm going to reduce the amount of Old Bay. Usually I just eyeball it, but since I was trying to do some measurements for you guys, I added a little bit too much. So one and a half tablespoon of Old Bay is more than enough seasoning. Don't do a quarter cup. <laughs> if you guys are eating this right now, um, you can go ahead and add in a whole lemon juice. Um, I like to add it on top of my seafood so I don't put it into the sauce. But yeah, enjoy.